Hey, good morning, guys. This is Ursula, your Harvey Container Gardener. So, it's Saturday morning. I got a little extra time. I could work in the garden. So, I'm bringing you guys to my garden so I can show y'all what I've been doing. I have been working hard, y'all. I have been working hard. And I'm proud to say that I'm happy with how my garden looks so far. So I just want to kind of bring you guys along and kind of give you a little late October guard tour. So I'm in zone 9B, southeast Louisiana, um, right across the river from New Orleans. And right now we might be in mid 70s, maybe 80s. A little breeze, it feels very good out here. So let me turn you guys around i'm gonna start from the far left corner of my garden and then i'll bring y'all to the meat of my garden which is my fall brassicas y'all so hold on all right y'all this is our blueberries and banana plant yeah that banana plant is looking good i have done a little cleanup around the base um some of the the leaves have started to turn brown, so I'm cutting back. And what I'm doing is I am using all of these cut leaves as mulch around this plant, around my blueberry plant that doesn't look that great, but it still has some green leaves on it. Not a lot, but some. But I'm using the banana leaves as mulch on this. And then I have these two blueberry plants which I am also using the cut up banana leaves as mulch and these are looking really good y'all got a, a lot of new growth on here uh, something is popping out I don't think it's blueberries <laughs> it might be leaves I don't know and this one also has a lot of new growth on it this one also is looking pretty good pretty healthy so what I want to do is I want to mulch all of them really, really heavy. So when we do start getting the cooler temperatures, the roots and everything will be protected. So I'm building up the mulch that I'm putting in here with the banana leaves. Hopefully it gives it a little more potassium from the banana plant. And if I have enough, I'll bring it over to the other side of my garden. So, yeah, my golden delish apple tree, rest in peace. My husband said he's going to um, cut it up today and put it out for the trash. And uh, I think he's going to buy me another one because he know how disappointed I was with this one. So we'll see. We'll see. Y'all, the sun is bright. But I love it. <clears throat> I love the temperature. So let me show you some of the new stuff I have going on, y'all. Hold on. All right. So in these grow bags, from left to right, it's carrots. This one has, um, hmm, what does it have? Radish and um, beets. Yeah, I couldn't see that. This one have turnips. The green one have onions. Nothing has come up yet. And the black one is set aside for some garlic, which I haven't planted yet. So, as you can see, I have a few little little green sprouts that then came up for my carrots. Not a lot, but that's okay because this is not a great big old grow bag. So I've been watering it every day, twice a day, keeping the seeds moist. Maybe some more pop up, but if not, I have some in here, y'all. These are looking good as well. The beets and the radishes, kind of slow growing, but that's okay. And also the turnips. So I'm gonna take you around and I'm gonna show y'all something new that I planted. So these are leeks. I planted those the other day. I grew them from seeds, separated them out of the cups. And this pot also has some leeks in it. 
they're still small but they're growing next to it is this pot that has the onions in it I recently harvested the green from these onions and they're growing back already and I also popped a couple of um, uh, onions in there the little small onion sets so I might have a good bit of onion this is also a pot with some onions in it I also did a harvest on this one and this one I, ha I need to harvest today it this is the chives parsley and also some green onions in the back so I will harvest this today and I will dehydrate this like I did uh, the other onions that I cut all right so I'm gonna bring you over here before I bring you into the crop cage <laughs> so right here is a jalapeno plant it didn't look too good look like the Sun was beating down on it so I moved it over to this side kind of shaded it by these pots and it's starting to get a little new growth in here so I'm hopeful and then I have my parsley my oregano that I really 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 need to cut back and dehydrate so maybe I'll cut some of this and dehydrate it when I cut those chives this is another pot of green onion and y'all I just harvested this about a week ago uh, I think I did a video about a week ago where I harvested the green onions so this is the pineapple mint I need to harvest this as well and this is some celery I do want to plant some more celery this is growing but it's, it's not looking that great so I'll harvest I'll go ahead and plant some more seeds and uh, yeah I did grow them from seed <laughs> all right y'all I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna show y'all the okras and the sweet potatoes <laughs> and then I'll bring y'all like I say to the meat which is my new fall brassicas in the crop cage back there so let me turn you around I always need to look back here before I start walking because I'm looking at the camera I don't know if there's a snake or anything on the ground so I'm always trying to check before I step all right hold on y'all all right this is my okra y'all all the new flowers on here all of the okra <laughs> on here I do need to do a harvest that's one bed and this is the other bed so it seems like I have okras up here and I have some more okras down at the bottom new flowers all over the place with okras flower falling from here um, more okra more okra so okras are not done just yet in my area like i said i'm in southeast louisiana um still real warm here and our winters really don't get that cold it's for the ex with the exception of last christmas when we got that cold blast so let me show you sweet potato flowers y'all these things are gorgeous if I don't get uh, another sweet potato, just seeing these beautiful flowers back here makes me happy. So, a lot of the leaves are starting to die back, but these weren't planted until the end of August. So, we're at the end of October, which is two months, 60 days so if they can hold out uh, another maybe another two weeks uh, another month I should be at my 90 days and I will go ahead and do a harvest on these sweet potatoes all right so so far I'm happy with everything that's growing the spring summer plants that are still growing and also with my new fall brassicas so i'm gonna show y'all what i got going on 
hopefully this will make you guys as happy as I am. So hold on. All right. Still got a strawberry going on. Right here is some kale. This plant, I don't know what it is. I don't know. My, I don't know. When I started moving stuff around and up potting, my my tags kind of got all moved around. So I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like it could be a broccoli, but it also could be a karabi. I don't know. So Swiss chard growing real slow. Small Swiss chard growing real slow. This is another mystery so I will find out what it is when it gets a little bigger y'all <laughs> so over here in some more grow bags up here I have a purple karabi and down here I have a mixture of purple and white and right here is also a mixture of purple and white karabis so inside of the crop cage Y'all, I just, I love the, the look of this. Just the, just the way it looks. I'm, I'm pleased with it because I am a ve very vi uh, visual, can't get my words out this morning, <laughs> visual person. So it has to look neat in order for me to be okay. So start off with these grow bags. These are 30 gallon grow bags. And this is a grow bag full of collards, the Georgia collards. This next grow bag is a grow bag full of mustards, and that's a Florida broadleaf. So these little black square pocket bags are full of purple and orange broccoli. So these are my new starts and I have some bags ready most of this is the purple cabbage well I, I will be planting this out and a couple of more collards that I couldn't fit these two are surprise plants that I found after I cleaned up and put them in put the dirt put the soil in the greenhouse and they decide to come up they are surprise plants I don't know what they are but the curiosity in me wouldn't let me get rid of them. So, y'all, this this in the front right here is my collard plant from last year. It survived, and it is growing. So I'm still getting collards. Not a lot, but when that grow bag fill up with those collards, I'll add that to this one. This little plant back here is a jalapeno y'all and i just checked it and i got one little jalapeno coming on here and some flowers this one also had to come out the sun because the sun was beating down on it so show y'all what i have right here is broccoli that's a romanisco broccoli romanisco this is a sun king broccoli sun king broccoli sun king broccoli down here which i will be planting these up today are my purple sprouting broccoli so i had to put them in some temporary spots until i get these bell peppers out the way <laughs> so over here y'all i still i have my cabbage and as you can see i popped a couple of little onions down here and they're coming up I didn't do it in every pot, but I did it in a lot of my pots. So I have onions coming up along with the cabbage. So these bell peppers, the last video I did, I said I would give them a week to turn a little bit more. And as you can see, they have. So these bell peppers will be coming down today because this spot and these pots have been reserved and this time I would love to keep my bell peppers a little bit longer but yeah like I said this spot has been reserved and 
my brassicas are waiting for their spot in their pots <laughs> so y'all down here I have more cabbage more cabbage I'm turning around and it's four different kinds of cabbage uh, this one here is a stone head this this is a beautiful looking cabbage I have extreme vape which is this that's the extreme vapes and I also have flat dutch so this is an extreme vape but that's a flat dutch and down here are my little pockets like I said I have the purple uh, cauliflower and I have the orange so there's a difference the purple is the smallest one then the orange purple is smaller than the orange so the orange seems to grow bigger than the purple so out here y'all are my new setups these are the grow bags that's going to go inside of this crop cage and it's going to go where the bell peppers currently are all right so like i said everything seems to be doing good the apple tree behind me is the red delish it's doing great it's putting on new leaves i will also mulch this really really heavy to protect it from the winter when the stronger colder temperature comes in so uh, y'all i'm pleased with um what how everything is going so far i have not and i'm gonna cross my fingers and i'm gonna find some wood to knock on had to deal with any pests as of yet uh, I think mostly because they are secured in this crop cage now that's not to say bugs can't get in because they could find their way in they haven't found their way in yet and that's what I'm banking on y'all that is what I'm banking on so I am currently mixing some more soil trying to get some more um, new soil mixed with the black cow mixed with some compost and a little blood meal and I will top off these new grow bags and like I said these new grow bags will replace those bell pepper plants and that where they are that's where the new bags will go and I will plan out my new starts the last couple of starts that I have left that have not been uh, planted up all right y'all y'all it's 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 been tough I wish I could keep my bell peppers um, they're doing so well they're looking so good and I really believe this is the time for bell peppers they are they're doing great but it's time to let them go and that's what I'm going to do so oh I wanted to show y'all too I went to the store and I purchased my onions so this is a soft neck I have my grow bag ready to go ahead and separate these and plant them out and um, hope for the best so I do have a couple of things I need to harvest. I may come back on another video and get that done. Um, and I will be cutting down the bell peppers so that I can go ahead and plant out my purple cabbage and they could go ahead and take off. So I am going to tell you guys, I will talk to you later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay safe and be blessed drop a seed you might enjoy it you never know you know and if you don't want to do a whole lot you don't have to do a whole lot but do something so enjoy your day guys i will talk to you at another time